Hello and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what was outside of my room last night, but it was different. And I really don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. I, I rolled over, I, I was asleep, I rolled over in my sleep, and I, I don't know why or how, but I always tend to open my eyes, and where they land, there's something there all the time. Usually when you roll over, you just kind of look around and go back to sleep. But no, I'm different, I guess. So, a lot of beings, and I don't know why, will be in my living room, in the doorway that goes into my bedroom. You go that way. You, well, in my, in my living room, there's a door that goes straight into my bedroom. There's no hall or anything. And these beings tend... To be at my doorway and they won't enter and they won't enter until I invite them and some are already in my room now before I go to bed I usually always say you know protect me through this night I surround my apartment with white light and please protect me through my sleep time and sometimes I also put a white triangle all around me in the bed sometimes I forget but I, I feel like these beings know that if they're up to no good, they're not allowed in there or in my apartment, period. And how they end up in my living room, I don't know. One being stood at my doorway and had two pairs of arms. It was really, really tall. And silly me, I, I didn't get anything bad from it. I waved at it and, and the upper set of arms waved back at me and then it proceeded to come in. And then I held my hand out and it touched my hand. And I'm like, whoa, okay. And then it turned around and walks out back into the living room. That wasn't last night's though. So I rolled over, looked toward my doorway. This was really different. Now the best way for me to describe it is, <laughs> I don't know how to even describe it. It was like a continuous, flashing red bolt like a lightning bolt not even a lightning bolt it's like um gosh the being was outlined in red electricity um it's the best way for me to explain it but it was so tall it, i guess it would have to duck underneath the doorway to get in the door frame now when i look at it I kind of went, whoa, because I saw horns. I saw big horns. And it acted like it was going to come in. And I said, whoa, wait a minute, no. I feel that you're not good. You're not allowed in. And then it stopped. And then it looked like it was grabbing the door frame on the top. Like it was reaching its hand around the frame part on the inside of my bedroom. And it was flashing, but you can see things cupping. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, nope. I don't know if you're you're good or bad. And since I don't know, you're not allowed in. And I should have said leave entirely, but I was groggy. And I'm like, no, I don't feel good with this. You're not allowed. So it didn't come in. It stayed in the doorway. And I remember looking at it thinking, no. <laughs> I don't think so. And it was, it was flashing. It was constantly flashing. The outline of the entire body. Now, in the middle, there were, I didn't see anything. I just saw the outline of the figure. I didn't say eyes or anything, but I saw two enormous horns that went like that. That bowed out from the head like that. <clears throat> and I'm like, those are horns. No, 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 no. That reminds me too much of the devil. I didn't get a bad feeling, but I, I felt like I had to play it safe. So that told me a lot right there. Now what confuses me about this is why, since I'm protected for one, they're limited. They can't, they can't come near me unless I invite them in like a vampire, I guess. But why do I get bad and good? I know there's supposed to be polarity. You know, good and evil, you know, yin and yang. I, I get that. But since I'm a star, star seed hybrid at that, and I'm protected in more ways than one, 
why do they even come near me? Oh, well, I just got the answer. My energy. <laughs> uh, so I guess, that, guess that's why. And, and this is another thing that I want to bring up is I know they want my energy in my light. I get that. That was just, the answer was just gave to me. I was taken. I was abducted. Maybe, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. I do know that I was with a being on another ship. I saw scary things happen. Whether they happened to me or not, I don't know. All I know is when I saw scary things, I ran. And when I got to the end of the hall, if you want to call it a hall, and I ran out of doors to go through, that's all I remember. I remember saying, please don't do that to me, please don't do that to me. And I had my head against the wall that was silver, and I just kept repeating that, and that's all I remember. So, they do have the ability to erase your memory, that's for sure. And I'm here to tell you, I know that for a fact, because I don't know how I got back. I do know I was taken without a doubt, because you can't just make up a whole ship in your mind. And I didn't see faces, but I, I feel that they were Ebens, but I'm not 100% sure. They, they resemble Ebens, I can say that. If you don't know what they look like, you can Google it and you'll get an image. They're supposed, Ebens are supposed to be good. Now, I didn't see physical harm given to the humans that I seen. And I did a video of this. They were just doing this on the throat. Well, to the person I thought was uh, April Elizabeth. She's on YouTube. She's a star seed. It looked just like her. And she was running and had her arm against the wall. And then the wall engulfed her arm or she couldn't run no more. And then she fell on the ground. And then she like she looked like she lost consciousness. I don't know. But they were doing this right here. And she kept gagging nonstop. And it was loud. And I'm like, oh my God, that looks terrifying. She's going to die because she didn't have time to breathe. <laughs> I will say that. So to me, that was traumatizing. And if they were doing something with the throat chakra, I don't know. If they were helping her, I don't know. But they wiped my memory. I do know I was taken. I remember that. I think I had a point I was getting to. Oh, that being a bad event that happened to me, why was I taken if I'm so protected? Because I'm supposed to died many times in my life and I'm still here out of three or four miracles here. And so I'm like, why was I taken? Why, why did they allow that if I'm protected? Maybe they were by me and protected me. I don't know. And I do know that I was taken and don't remember, but my, my star family or my guides or both came to me the next night or that same day. No, it was the next night and they removed whatever the grace put in me. I do know that for a fact. So why this is allowed to go on, I don't know. I don't know, you think I would be protected by that. So I don't know what was outside my bedroom last night. And I have no fear because, well, even though the event, I mean, on, on the ship did scare me, but it's like, I'm not scared to walk in my dark room right now. I'm not scared like that. I don't think the boogeyman's going to get me. Before my awakening, I had fear. But they took my, my fear away. They took my depression and anxiety away. So, I don't know. But it was weird. And, and then the, the figure, I think I already said it was blinking. And, but it was zapping at the same time. It wasn't like, you know, like this. It was like flashing all around. Like, like it was energy. It was crazy. I don't know. And maybe I was too tired and I couldn't see on the inside of that to see what kind of being it was. But I know it had horns or it looked like it. But I'll tell you, if you tell them you're not allowed in here, they listen. Or at least he did. A couple of them have. So, yeah, that was kind of creepy. So, that's my visit 
I'm not so red today because it's storming and I'm shocked that it's not as bad where you can hear it. So I'm gonna end this video here. I wanted to upload this one really quick. I love you guys tremendously. I hope you know that. And I'm sending you love, light, and peace. Bye.